Hi, this is Amanda Beck with Beck Bio. This video is on purposes of wildlife communication. Wildlife communication has several purposes, including to attract the opposite sex and to court, impress, and keep mates, to announce to potential mates and rivals their sex, social status, and sexual maturity, their location, and that they are strong, healthy, and experienced. To challenge and compete with rivals for access to mates, food, water, and other important resources, to establish or claim a territory or harem, to defend a territory, harem, mate, breeding area, or foraging area. To establish dominance, to indicate submission, to establish and reestablish bonds between two mated individuals or between several individuals in a social group. To navigate, locate, lure, and attract prey. To alert other individuals of food, water, and other important resources. To warn predators and intruders that they feel threatened or to keep away. To alert to predators they are poisonous or toxic. To alarm, alert, or warn individuals in a group of an approaching predator or intruder. To distract a predator or intruder from its eggs or young. To elude and startle predators. To keep individuals of a group together for cohesion. To let individuals of a group know it's time to move on from an area. To let individuals of a group know their location, to punish or avoid punishment, to ask for help. To let partners or family members know they need help with the nest, eggs, or young. To indicate willingness to provide help or care to partners or family members. To let parents and others know they are hungry or thirsty. To express pain, injury, sickness, alarm, fright, affection, happiness, sadness, annoyance, or anger. And finally, for fun, play, maintenance, and practice. Thanks for watching. Please move on to the next video, which deals with vocalizations and sounds.